Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Eden Zero episode number 15. Alright, the previous episode. Uh, it was a shock. <laughs> Honestly speaking, by the end of it, it was a real shock as I had no idea. I thought like the, the guy uh, who was like, you know, whose avatar was Homura's avatar that we knew that was Homura. I thought like Homura was maybe like tricking Shiki. Maybe she had some other goal and she was like, you know, kind of acting all this while. You know acting and like acting as if she's betraying them whereas she's probably not betraying them she has her own goals and she's doing this just to gain more favor from the scythe guy and like you know go to dragon joe's ship and infiltrate the, her his base and do something i thought it was some kind of a plan like that as it usually happens in anime you know like this this is like a common theme that happens in anime where there's like this person who kind of it like acts like he's betraying someone but he's actually not betraying that person but doing this to like you know for some other goal and i thought it would be like that and like you know we also saw homura hesitating to shoot shiki and like all that stuff and giving him a chance to run away all this computed uh, me to think that all right this is most probably not like you know homura speaking from her heart she's just doing this to like you know gain more favor and you know, infiltrate Drake and Joe's base. Um, turns out that's probably not it. There's another Homura, and I'm guess I'm guessing this is the actual Homura that we saw coming in and helping Shiki. And so the big question is, who is that other person, and why was he or she hesitating to shoot Shiki and giving him a chance to run away if that really was not Homura? So this is the biggest question here and I'm really looking forward to like you know see what actually is I'm, I'm sure we'll get more answers in this episode so let's check it out so yeah guys uh, let's start episode number 15 of Eden Zero so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one Okay, here it is. You see the face? And in comes Homura. I'm guessing this is actual Homura. So who is that person? New questions. Yeah. All right. Like, I'm one thing I'm really like, like, I love the fact that Eden Zero keeps surprising us in a lot of, you know, like, situations like we think it's going to go in one direction but it's actually the complete complete opposite and the developments are really surprising like you know in a lot of proportions and it's barely like you know the 15th episode like now like as i said like you know eden zero has barely started so i'll give it a few more seasons and I think this has potential to probably surpass fairy tale. And I won't be surprised if it does, actually. All right, the great Kaiju Shiki. Kaiju? Kaiju means... Kaiju means I think demonic beast or something like that. <laughs> what? So that was an imposter from the beginning. I, I said that in the previous episode. I thought about it. <laughs> All right, this makes more sense. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, her her verbal tics are also like, like you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's another question. <laughs> He's like, what's happening here? Um. What the hell? Oh, great. Nobody cares. <laughs> um, we're having a conversation here. Great. <laughs> Talk about being rude. <laughs> like, you know, interrupting our conversation. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the person's running away. All right. Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, no, I was not expecting that. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, like this is like hacking or some, doing something. Damn, he's like, um, wait, we can do that. Um, can you do something, please? I think Hamid can do something about this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Whoa, she has a similar one. Oh, all of them are same. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that's... <laughs> She's kind of doing it. I've ability to copy a person... Oh! Oh, really? Oh, wait, this is it's a female. Amida Galactic Intelligence Agency <laughs> oh. <laughs> Government Spy, okay Amida Alright Yeah, I was thinking it must be something like that So she's Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Auto. Oh no. Who Jesse? That person. Um Yeah. I don't think that will work. Oh, okay. Well, uh that will probably work. <laughs> oh my god, poor thing. Well, that was her target from the beginning. Whoa! What the hell? Oh! Okay, turn it back to her or something. <laughs> yeah! Oh no! Wait, did, it, did she teleport or something? Alright. Her name is Amira. And so she found everything easy, like, you know, because her account was not protected or something.
What the? Wait, so that's not her actual face? Okay. Um, we don't have the specific software for that. <laughs> <laughs> um no yeah <laughs> oh no what yeah yeah Okay. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay, well... Alright. Okay, this is... Oh! Well, it's not doing nothing to him. Great. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait. So he himself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Wait, Hermit is Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, all right. Oh, so he himself is not using the cheat. Oh, oh my god. All right, come on, Shiki. It'll work now. Give him a big old punch. Oh, okay, that'll work even better. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Giga Shiki. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, this hermit. All right, he's on his knees. Come on, another one. <laughs> Squish him or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it won't work. And so what? He himself is pretty strong. So Yeah. <laughs> All right, come on. Okay, in infinite health. Health. Oh, damn! <laughs> wow, what the hell? <laughs> this is not a fight in the, at this point. <laughs> Just a. Oh, I... these are my SS arm armor, aren't they? <laughs> All right, that, that's a good decision. <laughs> okay. Final code. Okay, now what? Oh, well. He, <laughs> he Thanos snapped the whole place. <laughs>
Oh, it, he literally Thanos snapped everyone. What the hell? Oh, great. How will this help? I, I'm not. I'm not getting the point. God. Okay, stop him before he is able to. Oh no. What? What will this even? How will this even help him? Three minutes. Oh god. Okay. Well, yeah, if you start thinking like that, that will make you the same as this guy, you know, like. Oh, shut up. Wait a minute. <laughs> Did he just. <laughs> Was that part of the script? Yeah. Oh, how much? Oh, all right. Okay. Well. Uh, it'll take how much? Five other, most probably five or oh twenty-two. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm bad at maths. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay, twenty-two. There you go, twenty-two blows. <laughs> okay, there you go. Well, friendship power wins, I guess. Did they really just say that? It, <laughs> if, if that really was, that script was, like, if that was really in the manga, I'll have to say, like, <laughs> Mashima knows. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, he's out, so... All right. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, but Weiss will get banned now. Sorry about it, Weiss. Yeah. There you go. I knew. <laughs> I knew this is coming. <laughs> yeah. Poor Wiles, he did not, was unable to say his. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, who is this? Oh, this is uh... Yeah. All right. It ends in a good note. Oh, is this the last moments? Oh, okay. That's why they went on their own way. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh. Okay, they had that chance. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, that's cheeky. Wow, okay, so they were basically the same, Shiki and her. And she's back. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. You need to do some exercises. Come on, Hermit. Oh, I'm still not convinced. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, it's small again. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> hmm. Grace Factory. Oh. Yeah, I'm thinking, what even happened? Huh. Um, what? No! What is happening? Wait a minute, is this... Is that that guy? That's him? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, really? Top five. Well, Hermit is there. Ah, Hermit, we need your help. Oh, God. Oh. Um <laughs> Okay, I think we need Hermit's help here. Because you cannot do anything. Like you can't even punch him. <laughs> He's on in a completely different place. <laughs> so yeah, I think Hermit can do something. Maybe you know, I'm not sure like I'm not I don't know about hacking, but you know, like there's I think there's a thing that you can actually do where someone actually tries to hack you. You actually use that and kind of hack them back or something, you know? Maybe Hermit can do that and teach him a lesson or something. <laughs> I'm sure in the next episode, we'll see, Hermit will do something. I hope so, at least. Let's see. Okay, so we met two new characters. Amira and this spider or whatever his name is. Okay. And Hermit is still not convinced. We need to convince her a little bit more. Like, she came back, but... Like, you know, she's still not able to make up her mind. She really was, like, you know... 
wanted to do nothing with them, they, she wouldn't have come back. She came back. That means there's, they're gonna, we're kind of close to convincing her. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry about that sneeze. Yeah. All right. Okay, this episode. Uh, this was episode number 15. And we get, got most of our answers here, as I said. And uh, it was a very simple thing. Like, I, I, I thought of a lot of scenarios in the previous episode. But turns out it was a very simple thing. Homura, uh, like, you know, came in at a random place in, in, in the prison or something. She kind of uh, was, like, you know, like, appeared there in game. So this Amira person, she, like, you know, taking that chance, she took um, a random appearance and kind of, like, you know, impersonated uh, Homura. And it's interesting to see that, just a sec, um, it's interesting to see that her power, Amira's power, is what can I say? It's not that she needs information. She can just, you know, take information. As she said, that I can impersonate people and at the same time it will bring all their memories, all their experience in my head. So she, all she needed to do was just impersonate Homura. And she, like, you know, she got to know about everything, how she talks, how she, you know, like her mannerisms uh, and like you know all the other information about his her friends shiki and all the other crew at the whole crew so that was basically what she needed to do she just needed to impersonate homura and all the information is in front of her so yeah okay this episode um <clears throat> i noticed like in today's episode after they explained it um homura said something homura said that after coming back she said that like, why would I even, like, you know, take a male appearance? And then she kind of said that, oh, maybe I am a little bit interested, but I wouldn't do that. And then she says, oh, I, I said that again. <laughs> Here, it's very, like, you know, obvious. As we can see, like, Homura's, uh, I think you call that a manner or a verbal tick or something. You know, the way she actually blurts out whatever she's thinking and whatever she's trying to hide. That thing. We never saw that before, you know, in, after coming in, 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 the, in the digitized world. You know, the, the fake Homura never did that before. So, you know, like, it's funny to think about, like, there's a very logical explanation here. Because even though this Homura, Amira, knew about what Homura is like, what she does, how she behaves, all that stuff. The, the thing that makes Homura unique is her verbal tick, where she... I'm not even sure if that's a verbal tick or if it's something else. But you know her man... Like, you know, the way she always kind of slips up and says something that she doesn't want to say. And, like, you know, tries to keep hidden. Like, that's, that's like a manner that is ingrained within you. So, the logical explanation, if you think about it logically, it was very, like, you know, like easy to actually understand how like you know we can differentiate between the fake homura and the real homura because the fake homura even though she knows about all her manners and everything something that comes from within unconsciously that is always like you know slipping up and telling the original thing that you don't want others to know that's a thing that happens unconsciously she didn't do it even once because that's not like you know that did not happen unconsciously for homura it happens unconsciously and she kind of blurts out something and then she realizes oh my god i said this <laughs> so like this really actually like you know logically differentiates the two of them as we see homura like like in the like when she just comes she just like blurts out the the thing that she didn't want to say and it shows us that you know everything happens unconsciously to her and for amida that does not happen unconsciously so she never did that before and yeah, that kind of shows us how they are different <clears throat> and how her impersonation was a little short. <laughs> a little short of perfection, but anyways. And... Uh, <clears throat> okay, and then the whole thing, like, you know, she tries to... What do you call it? Chase Amida, and Amida shows her face. She says that she is from the... Just a sec. 
galactic what did you say gia um excuse me okay uh let's see the full form galactic intelligence agency gia all right okay so she she's from the gia i'm guessing kind of like a police force or a you know, from from the law enforcement and she wants to get in draken joel's place now the way she said that you need to die here she was shooting at her that was obviously kind of a um, distraction as she also knew that she wouldn't be able to stop homura like that her main target was that tree and to disrupt the uh, the ride that she was riding on <laughs> and like after that she kind of like you know used her sniper rifle but homura <laughs> <laughs> returned it back to her and then the interesting thing happens is where we get to see her come out of her of, of the thing she has no face just a sec let me check, check that again yeah she, she has no face she has like uh, looks like that kind of the avatar we saw in game but she, her face is kind of i don't know so uh, she so she can just take anyone's face that means and she'll gain all the memories at the same time. Wow, that's a, an interesting ability. <clears throat> all right, anyways. And then we get to the next portion where uh, Hermit actually tells them how to win. You know, like if, if the other person cheats, you, all, you should also cheat. <laughs> and Weiss has made the scapegoat. <laughs> Mm, just a sec yeah okay let me know one thing i think though all the armors that they were like you know shiki was kind of being put into by hermit those are uh, those are ursa's arm ursa's armor wasn't weren't they like you know all the armors like i think they like yeah scarlet armor and what else was there demon armor yeah those, those were all <laughs> ursa's armor as far as i can remember Yes, another cool little cameo, I guess. And <laughs> all right, and then uh, like he starts his next uh, portion of the thing that is wiping out all the NPCs. Now, I really am unable to understand why the hell he even tried to do that. Like other than make, like you know putting emotional burden on Shiki, that did nothing. Like what? Like what? What was he even trying to accomplish by doing that? I, I'm not understanding that portion. Like you know, like like Shiki was beating him, you know, and Hermit was doing her own thing. And what she what he does is like wipe out the NPCs and the whole place. So even if he was able to wipe them out, what would he do after that? Like like as I said, like you know that the one thing that it did was actually put emotional burden on Shiki and uh, other than that i i'm not really not seeing any other reason for him suddenly doing that but anyways <clears throat> yeah and then like as like you know hermit says now here's, here's the thing like uh as hermit says like the, they're all datas what does it even matter now <clears throat> in my opinion like yeah they're obviously datas we know that and that's also the reason why when we go to uh like you know when we play video games or something uh we kill a character or a character dies obviously we are we feel sad emotionally devastated and like you know we also have to sometimes kill some characters in game but at the end of the day it really doesn't like you know affect us that much because we know they are just a part of a story a part of a game they don't have any real will or nothing like that but here's a different thing there are two differences here first of all they themselves are in game you know they're moving interacting and like you know having conversation with the npcs that's one biggest like one of the biggest difference another one of the biggest difference is the characters here have their own feelings they have their own will so that does not mean that they're merely data they are uh, intelligent data they they have their own will they have uh, like you know they're self-aware that's basically it so I think killing, like, you know, like destroying people who have uh, awareness of themselves and they actually know that, yeah, I'm dying. That's a, a very big burden, in my opinion. Like, I doubt, like, this is sometimes like, I, like you know, like, I, I, like, 
uh, as we are getting more and more closer to the VR technology, uh, I think I've also heard like, you know, somewhere that there's like also like, you know, a technology that's coming, which will probably let us dive into the video games as well. I think there was, there was some kind of a, uh, like, you know, article where I kind of read that. Like, it's kind of like SAO in a way. Like, you know, we actually get into the uh, video game world and interact, like, you know, full dive as they call it. <clears throat> So that type of technology is also coming up, popping up, and it will probably come in within 50 or 60 years uh, or even earlier than that. I'm not sure. So like when that happens, like I, I'm thinking like, as I said, like, you know, we can interact with this character. We get attached to the video game anime characters, uh, even though they are not, they do not exist. But what will actually happen if we full dive in and get to know the characters on our own? You know, like we actually go in front of the characters and talk with them. Like after that, I'm, I'm thinking like them, like, you know, when, when technology goes in that, like, you know, increases in that extent and we're able to full dive in, I'm sure it will be more devastating for us to actually see people, like, you know, characters, in-game characters die or our favorite characters die or something bad happening to them. It's going to be very much devastating emotionally at, at the same time. So like as we go more and more like you know our technology increases this this hap is start this is going to start happening to us as well we're going to get very much emotionally attached to the characters so it's not the same like you know normal video games character like you know they die like we get sad for one or two days or sometimes a lot more times you know we become very sad and but by the end of the day like we move on as we know that they are video game characters but here it's it's a completely different thing they have they're self-aware and all that stuff so it's, it's not that simple like as hermit said that they're just data no they are self-aware data which makes it very different from normal data anyways um yeah and then you know they uh, fight they win okay uh <laughs> one thing just a sec, where was that portion? The whole friendship power portion? I'm trying to find that again. Okay, here it is. Shiki punches. Just a sec. <laughs> Shiki literally says here, the power of friendship is unstoppable. Was this part of the script in the manga? If it was, I'm sure Hiro Mashima was did this deliberately. Like he knows. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, this was hilarious. <laughs> like you know all <laughs> I'm sure this was like you know like you know deliberately done by Hiro Mashima. Uh, if this is a part of the like, you know uh, of the manga script. I'm sure it was deliberately done by him. And <laughs> Like damn, like <laughs> wow, that that that's that's great. I, I have to say, I, I was really impressed by that. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, <clears throat> all right, and then they a little calcul do a little calculation as to how much Shiki is actually powerful and how much like you know damage uh, uh, the the other guy was going to take. All that stuff he gave like you know a lot of cons. You know consecutive blows and he his hp became zero and weiss was kind of giving a grando speech unfortunately he got banned and his his he, he got kicked out of the game <laughs> all that stuff and uh, okay and then we get a little uh, portion of the past where we see Ziggy and all the other shining stars and we get to know how, what he actually said he said that you are like free to do whatever the hell you want to you know go chase your dreams to do whatever and and he also I think like he said that if you also want you can just come with me and like you know in, in Granville and like you know raise Shiki or do something like that but all the other like you know the shining stars they had their own goals obviously like that's very like you know understandable uh, like which had her own job of trying to protect the Eden Zero. Um, what's her name? Um, sister. Sister also like you know went around healing people and like you know doing bounties and stuff. 
uh, hermit uh, she started you know she went around trying to as she said make human friends that was her main goal unfortunately something must have happened after that which made her like this we still don't know what happened and why she's like this now i'm sure we'll get to know that and i'm not sure what valkyrie had in mind i'm sure we're going to know that in the future as well because we barely know anything about valkyrie we just know her by her face and that's it and we also know that she was homura's teacher i think yeah so all that stuff i mean it comes back and she's weak because obviously she was diving for so long you know and she still has not been convinced and her heart is still not here as which said but i'm guessing that they're going to like you know she's going to uh, come you know like she's going to get convinced in a few episodes and one or two episodes maybe it's in the next episode uh because shiki like you know like shiki is here i'm i'm, I'm sure like she's he's going to convince her and we're going to know what happened to her that she became like this so yeah and we're like you know as i said like we have all, almost convinced her but it's still a little short and i'm sure shiki can do something about that <laughs> like it's funny like shiki shiki wants to make friends uh you know and uh, hermit also wants to make human friends and shiki is a human so i think that's perfect isn't it so yeah <sighs> anyways okay and then like in the next portion the spider comes out starts hacking them and uh, all that stuff so here's a little diff like you know uh here's a little i think um, thing that i should mention i thought in the beginning that amira was the one that was actually trying to hack them hack eden zero you know because i thought like she hacked them and like did something to actually uh, know all about homura and like you know take his her avatar but after this episode we got to know that amira amira was a completely different person and uh, you know she came from somewhere else and she has some other goals she's nowhere can, like you know like you know related to this the whole hacking incident so the person who's actually hacking them was spider that means trying to hack them at least and now she he's trying to do that again and uh, i'm sure like the only person who can save them this time is a uh, hermit because obviously she can't go punch him because he's in a completely different place so as i said in the beginning you know like probably there's something that hermit can do here like you know like uh, like as i said like you know i'm not sure how hacking happens like you know what are the main things that they do in hacking but when you i think like there's a thing where you, when you actually try to hack someone you also like you know have this like you know same uh, chances of getting hacked yourself by like you know the other person can trace back your route like you know the the, the path that you take to to hack so it's like a double-edged sword so i'm sure hermit can do something about it you know at least i hope so in the next episode i'm sure we're going to see something because in, in this scenario only hermit is able to do something all right okay another thing i, I kind of forgot to mention here jesse i mean i was talking about jesse or someone and uh, jesse is that person wasn't it who we are talking uh, uh like she was talking with and just a sec Where is that portion? Anyways, I cannot find that portion. Oh, okay, here it is. Okay, she said that any anyone was fine. I just happened to find an account with lousy security, which was obviously Homer's account. Oh, great. And okay, then here it is. Still, it was a shock to learn that Jesse knows you. Yes. Oh, just talking to myself. All right. So who is this Jesse? Like she talks as if. So here's what's happening. She says that it's surprising to know that Jesse knows you. So actually, Jesse does know her. You know. And but Homura says that who is Jesse? So what does that even mean? Like, like uh, Homura does not know who Jesse is, but Jesse knows who Homura is. And Amira knows that Jesse knows that Jesse knows Homura. Like, like what? Like, like uh, just a sec. Okay, let me just check that again. Okay, here it is. Still, it was a shock to learn that Jesse knows you. Amira says that. So here, Amira is surprised that Jesse 
knows uh, Homura. That means Amira knew Jesse, and Jesse also knows Homura. And Amira was shocked to know that Jesse knows Homura. And that would mean that would probably mean that Homura also knows Jesse. But that's not what happens. And Homura says that Jesse, and there's a question mark. So that means Homura does not know who Jesse is. So how the hell does Jesse know who Homura is? And like you know, in the previous scene, we were actually seeing Jesse and Homura conversing, like the fake Homura, that is Amira. And so that would mean that, like, you know, like Jesse called her Homura. And that means that Amira was also tricking Jesse. And Jesse was thought that Jesse was talking with Homura, but was actually not talking with Hom Homura. She was, he was talking, he or she was talking with um, Amida. So that means Jesse does know Homura, because otherwise, why would Jesse speak so casually with the fake Homura? But it seems as if Homura does not know Jesse. Like he, she's confused with who Jesse is. I'm not sure. I'm thinking too much about this. I'm sure there's a very simple answer for this which I'm, I'm, I'm sure we'll get to know in the future. But yeah. So yeah, guys, that was it. That was my reaction to Eden Zero episode number uh, 15. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Eden Zero. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.